We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Arizona Cardinals. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Are they going to sit back in coverage? A really nice job there of going in attack mode early, and they pick up a quick first down. Now this throw caught left side, and he's got this down to the 35. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Murray now on first down. A short one here caught by McBride. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 31, here's the second down and six. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it, Brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. From the gun on third down, Murray. That is caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 13-yard line. 18 yards the gain for number 18. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Murray going to throw. Touchdown, Cardinals! A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. 
First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Williams. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw. Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now they need two. Here's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me... Their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. On the option to give to Swift here. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook that can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage, nice linebacker play. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Back to throw, Williams. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there. No hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. That pass complete to Moore. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now, way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through and also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw, Williams. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Off the bootleg, Williams. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. A great effort there. 26 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ballgame. 
those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with as you described a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Murray. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he goes out right around the 39. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to, and if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 37. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Murray now. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Now that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. They'll set up to throw. They'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two. 
and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Murray now to throw. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Connor is in. Touchdown, Arizona. You think about James Conner down near the goal line, and you think about the 2021 season with his 15 touchdown runs. He believes he's as good as anybody down close, and he powers his way in here. Now Prater to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Williams looking to throw on second down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Now Williams. On first and 10, and his throw's going to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, 
Timed it perfectly and knocked it free. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That is caught at the seven. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. 23 yards on the play. As the field starts to get condensed, the defense likes that a lot because now you don't have as much space to cover, but a well-run corner route there. They'll look to throw again. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And we'll see what they want to do. 45 seconds is all that remains until the break. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. Throwing now is Murray. And this will be swung out here for counter. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Murray. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off, and he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Williams now throwing on first down, and they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense. Here's Williams to throw on second down. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Williams. Touchdown, Bears! D.J. Moore as the first half is winding down. And the Bears have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Come on, baby. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Murray. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Murray. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Set to resume, here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle, and he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second and five. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw. Williams. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On second down, Connor looking for space. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. 
Right back to Cotter here on first. And he'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Second down, Murray sets to throw. That pass completed to Dorch. Oh, that's what an effort. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly. One just did. Throwing on first down is Murray. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. To throw, it's Murray. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Murray now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Murray to air it out again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Murray a give. This is Connor, and he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Murray now, third and goal. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. And that sack brings up fourth and goal, a loss of seven. Big play. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. 
tackle made by Kaiser White. You know he can fly to the ball, and he showed it there. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now they run the option on second down. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. The Bears on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Looking to throw. Williams. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out now they're likely gonna have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline his first punt 48 yards this one looks equally as good and we'll see what he can do on the return call it an even 40 yard punt 7 though on the return and the cards will take over first and 10. arizona's offense at the line ready to get their drive started their defense accomplished step one of the mission they forced the punt now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead the drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now a dump off here complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now a handoff coming left, counter, And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Here's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Jonah Williams, former first-round pick, the guilty party. They run behind center with Connor. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. On second down, here's Murray. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that will be incomplete as well. 
Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So here comes the veteran Matt Prater in a big spot in this ball game. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Williams from the gun on third down, and he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. 
And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's first down. Shotgun now for Murray. Got his man. It's George. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Now second and four. Murray going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Here's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now Murray again. His throw incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. A big play here, third and two. Back to throw, Murray. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And that's the downside of taking these big shots because they're definitely lower percentage plays. And now you look up and it's fourth down. So not only do you have to worry about getting big yardage, you also need to just keep the game alive. They're going to run. Here's Connor. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, they did the part they had to do. Quick throw got the first down. But that doesn't allow them to relax. They still have plenty of work to do. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Murray. They shakes him off. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here comes second down. Murray to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. To throw is Murray. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two.
Now first and goal. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Extra point good by Prater. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. They'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Back to throw. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Fourth down now, and defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. 
What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. 